Okay, hello flight simmers. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial look at the Icon A5 Light Sport aircraft. It's going to be flying from Lima, India, November Oscar to Lake Como, Italy. Very scenic. So we're going to use the world map to set up a flight plan. And right now it's nighttime in Lake Como, so we're going to change that to uh, daylight so we can see what we're doing here. Alright, so it's customized to a daylight scene. I'm going to close that and I'm going to pick Lake Como. Right there, set it as our arrival. And this little airport right here. Lima in the November Oscar. We're going to set that as our departure. Okay, so that is Novate Nezola, runway 32. It's a grass runway. So we'll see how this thing does taking off on grass in Microsoft Flight Simulator and landing on a grass runway. It's pretty rough looking. Let's take a look at it. Okay, beautiful spot anyway, uh, Lake Como, popular tourist destination. So it's a great little spot for a small aircraft like this for sightseeing. So here we are at the airport. You can see there's our plane, grass runway. But it's a beautiful destination. Look at the mountains. Gorgeous uh, location here. So here's a look at the plane. You can put your own information on the tail through settings. So we're ready to fly. And take a look inside the aircraft. I'm going to press control and the number one on my keyboard. So you can see here's our gauges. Very much like you'd have in a car or a ski jet or something. So there's your airspeed. There's your angle of attack. There's your altimeter and your altitude. So right here, I'm going to press B on the keyboard to set the barometric pressure. You should see this move. Because I changed it to a daylight thing and did a customization, often the barometric pressure is not just 2, 9, or 9, or 2 like it always is. So watch this. So it didn't change. So it's set properly. And it's not a 29 or 9 or 2, as you can see. Alright, let's look at the fuel gauge, oil temperature, oil pressure, water, RPMs. And control 2 will bring up this screen, which is the flight plan. 3D vision. So some different settings here. Look, let's take a look at this. That'll give you a 3D vision so you can see whether you're going to fly into the terrain or you're above it. There's your altitude. Right now it says we're at 660, 650 feet roughly above sea level. There's your ground speed there. So you can uh, also select waypoints if you want to build some waypoints. There's our flight plan, direct route, GPS from there to Lake Como. You can select, go to the nearest airport, nearest VOR. This is helpful stuff if you're just flying around and want to do a landing without having to develop a flight plan. And then you can do direct to, enter some information in here, and then hit activate. And there we have the map view. So that's the one we're going to use. We're going to scroll out. There, you can see we're flying. It's a very short flight. So. Control 3. This is for your flaps. Up or down. We're going to set them at 15. There's our uh, calm. For the radios, that's going to be handled, taken care of for us. Strobe lights, nav lights, taxi lights off, landing lights, uh, bilge, heat, and the water runner up or down. That needs to be up for takeoff and landing. 
So there is uh, some information. We got our fuel is at 50%. All right, this is uh, avionics brightness. You can turn that up or down. It, some some of this stuff works and doesn't work. Okay, control four. I think we covered that. There's your throttle. So make sure it's back. There's your parking brake. We're going to turn that off just by clicking on it. Your yoke's controlled by your joystick. And I have buttons programmed into my Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. Control 4, Control 5. Gives you a uh, parking brake, a closer up view. Control 6 will get you overhead. So you can't pull a parachute on this thing if you run, your engine quits on you. Should at least land you softly to the ground. Nope. I don't know where you'd land, but this is a wing lock. You can fold the wings up and then put them down and lock them. Here's your fuel. has to be set to on. And control 7 gets us back here. Control 8's a side view. Control 9. That's right out the front back here. So we're ready to take off. I think we've looked at the instruments and what we're going to use to fly. So Let's get ready to rock and roll here. Outside view, just by hitting my button on my joystick on the side. And we're going to accelerate gradually. Got the flaps at 15. Fairly easy to steer this thing. It doesn't wander around too much. Get her up to about 50 or 60 and gently pull back. She'll lift up into the air. So I'm going to bring up the landing gear, and I'm going to bring up the flaps. And if you look up here, you can see that's the direction we have to go. So you can do a setting in your uh, options to have this stuff show up on the outside of your aircraft, which makes it a lot easier to see what's going on inside when you're flying outside, just enjoying the scenery. Milan Center Icon 85107 is type Icon 1 miles west of Lima, India, November, Oscar 1,200 feet. Request flight following. Icon 85107, Milan Center. Squawk 1264. Squawk 1264, Icon 85107. Icon A5107, radar contact one mile south of Lima, India, November, Oscar, 1,600 feet. Altimeter 2, niner, decimal 9 or 2. Roger, Icon A5107. So I'm going to hit B on the keyboard again to set the barometric pressure just once again. So that adjusts it automatically to what she told us it was and you saw she gave us our altitude so uh, it's set correctly because uh, we were at 1600 feet roughly when she said that. So now we're flying down the valley towards Lake Mo and we're going to do a landing. To do a landing in this aircraft you want to get your speed down to about 40 to 50 knots and you want to get just above the uh, water and ride that distance and gently set it down. You're going to put your flaps down for landing. So I'm going to get my altitude down now. You don't want to be descending quickly when you want to land this aircraft because you pick up too much speed. So I'm cutting back on the throttle now. So it, it does fly very nicely by itself. I mean, I'm not doing much right now to fly this thing. It holds its course very nicely. I'm going to change uh, the heading just by using the joystick. So here's Lake Como. And I've got the throttle back a bit, so our speed is right now around 85. So now I'm descending, just using the joystick. You can use your trim a bit to descend as well, but 
If you cut your speed back, it will start descending on its own anyway. Uh, heading over to the lake. Get ready for landing. So I got it on idle now, trying to get the speed down. You just want to watch you don't get too slow and stall it, but we're getting down here. And we are descending. So just by cutting back the throttle, it's descending on its own. And I'm just going to try and bring this thing so it's just a couple of feet off the surface of the water and then gently set it down. Uh, don't push down when you do that. Just kind of let it settle on its own by losing airspeed. Okay, so... We're staying up around 70 there. I'm going to put the flaps down now. It'll slow us down. So, when you're landing with this aircraft, look for the ripples on the water. You'll know you're getting really close. So, we know it's around 650 feet, the elevation. So, we're getting close. And our speed's slowing down very nicely. I'm watching for the ripples on the water. And they're starting to show up. And just try and hold it above the water and set it down gently as possible. Okay and just release the joystick and let it come to a stop. You can put the flaps down a little more if you want to help slow it down even more. Okay. I'm going to put them up again. Go inside. And remember we said we could put that water rudder down? That'll help us steer. So you can just use your yoke to steer. I'm going to turn around and take off again. Show you a good technique for taking off with this aircraft. Okay, so you've got to put up the rudder. For take off. We have to put down the flaps. And we just want to get this thing riding above the water. Just skip it along the surface. And then we can pull back. We'll just get it riding like that. And then just gently pull back. And up you go. So now comes the task of landing in a grassy runway. Almost like a field. So I'm going to bring up the flaps. And we are going to head up the valley again back to the airport. The launch center icon 85107 is type icon 6 miles southwest of Lima, India, November, Oscar 800 feet. Request flight following. Icon 85107, the launch center. Squawk 1261. Squawk 1261, Icon A5107. Icon A5107, radar contact Squawk 1261. Squawk 1261, radar contact 5 miles south of Lima, Indiana, November, Oscar 1200 feet. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2. Roger, Icon A5107. Okay, I'm going to set the barometric pressure again. Press B on your keyboard. That's the easiest and most uh, accurate way to do it, actually, in flight sim. Okay, I'm clipping right along here. So now the problem is uh, finding these little grassy airports. If you've done any of the challenges, you'll know what I mean. So we've got to find that airport. Keep your speed down around 50 again and just 
gently set her down if you can. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, so we gotta go looking for this airport. Okay, so I'm using the map here to give me a good idea where the airport is. So you can see the water on, as a reference, the river. Okay, there's the airport right there. That grassy knoll right here. Okay, so let's go outside. Let's put Flaps down and the landing gear. And I got this thing on idle. I got to try and get the speed down in order to do this without, you know, the runway is clear. There's nothing in the way, so we should be okay. I'm just hoping I can slow this thing down. I'm going to put the flaps down a little more. Okay, it's slowing down pretty good now. I'm going to put the flaps back up. So, no, nope, I'm going to put those flaps down again. See if I can slow this thing down. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Got the brake on now. Trigger on my joystick. Okay. We did it. We didn't crash this little thing. And a very nice little aircraft to fly. Oh look, a little via truck driving along the road there. <laughs> Let's go inside, shut her off. See if I can do that. So, I want to do control 5, I think it is, and the parking brake on. Control 1. Yeah, we can turn that off. And the keys. Yeah, let's shut her down. And up top, we could have done the fuel as well. So, that uh, concludes our little... Uh, flight in the Icon A5. A lot of fun flying this little aircraft. Very easy to handle. Takes a little practice landing on water, but landing on a paved runway is, is very easy to do with this aircraft. You just have to remember to keep your speed down. So thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the short video.